Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to read a prepared statement, and then after that, we will uh, answer uh, some questions. I want to start out today's press conference with reaffirming an unequivocal equivocal statement that I made from day one regarding this case. This case is about three individuals. These three individuals were the ones that were indicted. This indictment has never been about, and it will never be about, indicting the noble profession of corrections officer. On August 9, 2011, George Williams ended up in the hospital with a broken ankle, broken scapula, broken eye socket, and the other ankle severely sprained. Because of the nature of the injuries, the Inspector General's Office and the New York State Police began an investigation into the events that caused those injuries. Today, three and a half years later, the defense, the judge, and my office entered into an agreement where the three defendants pled guilty to the crime of official misconduct on the condition that they were sentenced to a one-year conditional discharge, they waived their right to appeal, and they submitted a letter of resignation. All three of those conditions were met this morning. Let me be clear, this case has never been about jail for these officers, even though they came dangerously close to that idea today. This prosecution has always been about holding these three accountable for their abuse of power and to, once and for all, get them out of the corrections profession. The result today also underscores the premise that they are not above the law. Now, this is the first time in New York State history that a corrections officer has been prosecuted and pled guilty to committing an unauthorized violent act against an inmate while on duty. Prior to today's plea, we reached out to the victim in this case, George Williams, who has approved of the settlement, and when confirmed with him today of the final result, he was overcome with emotion. We take into, into account our victim's wishes when making a decision, and today both Mr. Williams and I are content with today's outcome. 